In this video, I thank Bongo for his first ever bicycle ride. Uh, Bongo's my dog. He's going on probably 15 years old in October, I believe. He, I got him about 14 years ago, the end of this month. So, so he's up there in age. He doesn't get around very well. He can walk, but just not very far. His balance and everything's a little off. So he's been messing me quite a bit because I've been getting out on the bicycle, on the e-bike, because I, I can travel now. Um, and he spent a lot of time with me over the last four or five years because I've been home a lot since I've been sick. Uh, so he gets to go now on bicycle rides with this trailer. Here I'm taking it kind of wide on the turns because I'm not used to it quite yet. Probably only ridden it about a half mile from my house around the trail there. Um, this park is Asa Bales Park. It's uh, one of the two parks that are within a couple blocks of my house. But Bongo, he's pretty stable in the car in the trailer. He doesn't move around a whole lot because, you know, he's older. So it helps with him keeping his balance and weight down low. Um, but I think he enjoys it. It's not too bad tracking behind you. I have to get used to being on the side of the trail. I'm going to have to get some more mirrors or another mirror on the right in order to see where I'm at. I just don't trust my ability with judging where the trailer is yet. I got him the, uh, it's the Doggy Hut Premium Pet Bike Trailer, and he's a, it's a size extra large for him, because he's a little over 80 pounds, so he needs a big trailer. And he's either part pit bull and something larger, or, or bull mastiff, so he's a big dog. So, but a good one, or, and a good one, either way. This trailer, there. when I was reading the reviews for it, it had some negatives people were talking about. One person had taken their dog and did a left-hand turn, and every time they took a left-hand turn, the trailer rolled over. Um, here I'm going to pull over here in a second and look at the canvas because I thought I heard something rubbing, but there wasn't. Um, somebody had mentioned that the dog had leaned against the wall and the canvas had rubbed against the tires. I'm not exactly sure how that would happen. I mean, they would have to be putting a lot of weight sideways on it in order to do that. But it didn't have any issues with that. I may, maybe in the future if I see anything, I'll add either a little piece of tin sewn into that or maybe some more canvas. But everything was good. It's nice and stable. Bongo has the sunroof. Here Bongo is laying on his bed. I put his little four inch dog bed in there. It's kind of curled, but he's comfortable on it. it. The floor might be able to use some rigidity is what people said. I haven't noticed that yet. I probably need to look at it a little bit more. My uh, stability trying to take off and stuff is a little bit lax. Um, Trying to go at about five or six miles an hour is not as easy as just being with a, you know, bare bicycle by itself. I keep trying to switch back and forth to see if there's a difference on how I feel and what my comfort level is. I don't want to make the ride uncomfortable for him. I have been thinking about adjusting my pass level, so I have uh, nine pedal assist modes so I can have a more accurate speed like around 8 or 9 or 10 miles an hour uh, make it a little easier on him plus it gives me an option to control my speed limits a little bit more better I don't know why but it seemed like 
there was a lot of high school kids out that day. I mean, you can see what, a half dozen over there. I don't know if kids were skipping school or what have you. It seems kind of odd that they would be skipping right across from the high school, though. But you never know. So I decided, once I had gone around that park a little bit, I decided to go ahead and head over towards the Monon. I wanted to check the ability of the bike to haul the trailer up the big bridge there. It's pretty steep and it's usually a good test of how well the bike's going to handle going up it. So we get on these smooth sections of pavement and it's pretty good for Bongo. Hopefully he agrees to me using his image on, on YouTube and Instagram and what have you. Don't need any lawsuits from the dog. I don't think he's that kind of dog. You never know. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that the lady that said that their trailer had flipped over with the dog inside of it and the dog was injured. I I don't know if they took it too fast on the curve or, or turning or whether the dog shifted their weight or if they left the roof open so the dog could sit up and look out, um, which would probably be problematic for the dog being stable enough. Oh, Bongo's got something to say right now. Sorry. Okay, I'm back from attending to Bongo's needs. He, uh, let's see, we were talking about the, uh, the dog that had flipped over. Again, I'm not sure what could have happened. It's There's so many variables there that could have happened. The person going too fast and what have you. So, it's hard to say. You can't necessarily blame that on the trailer. So There is, I mean, you do need to take caution when you're attaching the wheels because there's the little axles that go in. They're held with a spring-actuated ball bearing. And if you don't push that in all the way, you could technically lose a wheel or something, which would not be good. But hopefully that won't be the case. They probably could stand to have some uh, oh, cotter keys or something like that to ensure that the pin stays in for the wheels. Just zipping along and Bongo seems to be okay with it. It was a nice day that day. I think it was in the 60s. Hence the reason I didn't have any uh, shirt or what have you. Long sleeves. I did regret not having my gloves with me. I'm not a huge fan of operating bicycles or motorcycles without gloves just easier on the hands. So Bongo didn't react. That there's a veterinary hospital and doggy daycare there on the right and they were barking like crazy but he didn't seem to react. I'm not sure if he's becoming hard of hearing or if he just ignored them. But he's a pretty good dog. He's snoring away right now. all this construction going on up and down the Monon there in Westfield it's hard to judge what's going to be open or what part of the trail might be blocked it's kind of hard to believe that some of the people just park on the trail when they could be parking in the grass or wherever but I was able to get around the guys so that wasn't too bad we're headed now up to that bridge to see how the bicycle goes up with the trailer attached 
think I started getting up to speed and I thought better of it. I was on about 18 and then I thought, nah, let's make it a smoother ride for Bongo and not risk it. The wind was pretty horrible that day. That's the reason I'm doing another voiceover. So you actually missed me complaining quite a lot about the brick that I'm riding on there. I've never been a huge fan of brick since I learned how to rollerblade and then riding on the disc bicycle obviously is just ridiculous. So, so I guess you do get to hear me complain about brick a little bit. You're welcome. to go up. There's a bunch of uh, teenagers or high schoolers on the bridge too. It's just kind of strange to see them all out. Hopefully it was just a school day that had an early end time for the seniors or what have you. But the bike performed really well trying to get up the hill. I did have to pedal a little bit, especially when I had to slow down for these kids to get out of the way. So, pretty much smooth sailing, was it? It's kind of weird riding a bicycle with a trailer because it's kind of like learning how to drive a semi just wasn't it's not a skill you have to learn it was difficult to learn as a truck driver to pay attention to where the trailer is so you're not running over or hitting anything and then not going over the side of the road or or getting out of your lane which I tend to do quite a bit with this that day and today when I went riding so I'm gonna have to need to practice with that and then really nice to be able to get him out and on the trail with me he had I had mentioned earlier that I'd been sick and we were stuck in the house for a long time so being able to get out and around with him was really good we used to go for walks a little bit but he can't walk very well now so it makes it a lot easier on him just to ride in the trailer so he seemed to enjoy it I may have taken a little bit too long this day because I think it was about an hour ride. So this video we went down further south on the Monon, which you'll see in a minute. But here I'm checking the fittings and everything to make sure everything's good. Make sure he's okay. Give him some water. water bottle shot. It's a nice day, beautiful trail, good companion. So he just drinks a little bit of water and we roll on. I gotta say, the sunroof is kind of nice just to be able to reach in, give him a pet, and check on everything, and then roll. Now, if I had a younger dog, I'd probably want to keep that shut just to make sure they're staying within the, the cart. Um, I'm sorry, the trailer. In the trailer, there is a, a lead connection so you can connect it to their collar. Um, for some reason, it's sewn into the, the strap or the fabric. 
which I think it would be smarter to have a little uh, tether or whatever around the actual metal frame that goes inside of it. So I may have to do that at some time if I ever end up getting a younger dog or what have you. So here we were on the Midland Trace and now we're headed down the Monon Trail again south. If you've watched my videos before, you've seen this a lot. Because it's, it's along the route to go to the pharmacy, the grocery store, and the uh, post office. seen a couple of channels where there was a well one channel there's a guy that has the same trailer and he has two medium-sized dogs like Australian Shepherds or, or something of that sort and he takes them for rides but he also uses the trailer to go in and get groceries from town and and other stuff because he lives out off-grid in the desert or mountains I'm not sure didn't pay attention well enough I guess but, uh, those two folks were actually on e-bikes, so that's the first pair of them I've seen. So it must, might be that the people are getting out more and more on the e-bikes while the, when the weather gets better. So I'll probably see them more. Before, it's only been pretty much one or two that I've seen in the past what, two months, three months since I got the bike. Usually I just see regular bicyclists. Be really nice to see green on the trails again. Get out, enjoy that. Need to remember sunscreen because the day that I did the long trip to the Potter's Bridge down to the Nickel Plate Trail. Boy, I got sunburned. You'd think, as old as I am, I'd remember by now. But it is what it is, I guess. have a uh, 360 degree camera that I need to figure out how to use it's the camera that I use is an insta 360 one RS it's a modular camera so the lens and lens unit with the sensor I guess is what they call it actually disconnects from the computing portion that has the screen so I take the regular lens off and then I could put the uh, 3d lens on and then there's also another style of a battery that connects to it so I can stick it on a selfie stick or what have you and see around so but I think you guys would rather see bongo than my whatever first person shooter kind of view uh, referencing video games sorry It'd be nice to see footage of him. I tried to do that on today's ride, but the uh, camera fell off of the mounting point that I was trying to use. So, that was ineffective. But yeah, overall, I mean, the few bumps that I did hit, the trailer seemed to be fine. 
I think they can improve that trailer by adding a little bit of suspension on the axles, but they don't have the right setup for that on how it's built. But of course, it's a $200 trailer compared to, you know, there's a brand called Burley that's five or $600 for the trailer, which was considerably outside of my price range for now. Now the, the manufacturers of my e-bike, the Eahora, they have a uh, secondary brand called Hedonic, um, and it's the same bicycles, the Juliet, the Juliet 2, the Romeo, and the Romeo Pro. The Juliet 2 just came out, and it has a, uh, I believe it's a 52 volt battery system, and 1500 watt motor, so it's considerably more powerful than this one even, by uh, 500 watts. I think they did some nice updates. I'll have to talk about it at another time. I do have a couple of promotional links in the description um, where they've discounted the, the Juliet and then I think the Romeo is pretty much or pretty discounted as well. So if you're interested in those, give them a click. Um, I do have an agreement with the Aurora to make a little bit of money if you click on those links. should help me save up for a new computer to edit with. This one is super, super slow. If I film in 4K, it takes probably, I don't know, 9 to 12 hours to process a video that I've edited um, that's, you know, 27, 28 minutes long. So, and even, I mean, even a 10 minute video takes 8 or 9 hours. So, definitely could use a better computer for editing kind of odd comparing the nickel plate to the Monon. Um, this is the Monon and the other day was a nickel plate trail. It was considerably wider and I guess the trees and stuff aren't as grown up around the trail or over the trail. So the Monon just seems like it's more I guess entertaining because the other one seemed kind of boring going down because it's so wide and so plain around it. But for some reason, I chose the right side of this cone. It's a little too narrow for that. But the trailer did get off the side of the trail a little bit, but fortunately, Bongo was okay. These intersections, I've mentioned before, they're not supposed to stop, and there's a push button here for a special kind of warning. Um, but people stopped anyway. It really bothers me that if people stop and then have an accident or what have you, then I've got the dog trailer on that makes me even longer. I need to put the flag up on it. It did come with a flag that's six foot long on a fiberglass pole. So I'm sorry, the fiberglass pole is six foot. The flag's a little orange, but you've probably seen them before. But I got the they call it lime green, but it's a high vis green. I prefer those colors so that it can be seen. I need to be better at wearing clothing that looks more high vis. I've got a bad habit nowadays of wearing darker colors. But my motorcycle gear is high vis. weird thing people don't see you they'll look straight at you but they don't see you if you're not the same kind of vehicle they just aren't looking for a bicycle or a motorcycle that little girl was way 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 ahead of her parents I'd be so scared that I'd lose my kid Fortunately, they were there I guess behind I bet it's hard to keep a kid under control when they're on a bicycle. They get far down the road and the mowing on or the rail trails are relatively safe away from roads. So. so 
there's only a couple more vi minutes left in this video I do want to say thank you for watching um, and thank you for all the new subscribers old subscribers um, I appreciate your views definitely and if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe um, the older viewers please like too um, if you have any comments feel free to comment in the comment section I always respond to comments um, I like talking with people so yeah thank you for watching um, again if you're interested in the Juliet or the Romeo you'll have to look up the Romeo because I don't have have one but it's a pretty similar bike just slightly different more of a motorcycle oriented seat and some other things it doesn't have the cargo rack in the back but any, anyways they're both really nice bikes and if you're interested feel free to click those links and buy them through Amazon that way um, again it helps the channel so thank you hope you have a good day and I appreciate you watching and I think Bongo approves of the trailer yep but you got some more bongo time. And more of me drinking water. So, anyways, if you paused off or clicked off the video, I completely understand. Because this is a little boring. And I've already had our... Yeah, can't talk. Anyways, this will be the blooper reel. Thank you, drive through. Thank you again for watching. Hope you have a good day.